So I've been having struggles, I guess is the word. Uh, when I first when I first became a believer, um, it's not that I didn't know anything about God. I only knew what I was kind of forced to learn when I was growing up. And it's not that I wanted to disregard that. It's just I didn't know where that where to put that in context. Stuff that I learned 30 years ago, where to put that in context to, to where my life is now. Um, not to say that you know the you know the things that you learn, at least in a uh, a biblical standpoint, change. You know they are what they are, but they definitely take on a different meaning at you know 38, 39 years old than they do at 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. But uh, you know, so I started watching videos of, of different uh, uh, preachers or you know different sermons and speakers. I started reading books. Um, not really putting a whole lot of you know thought or research or anything like that into you know where these people were coming from or really what the what they're at their core what that what it is that they stood for you know because my thought was you know you go to a christian bookstore you know it one book's as good as the other i guess and, um and then i've stumbled upon some you know, videos on YouTube about so-called prosperity preachers, um, and it's you know it's kind of muddied the water for me a little bit. It, you know, it hasn't taken away from my faith. It just makes me nervous. As you know, when I'm you know if I'm reading or you know or listening to certain people, you know, am I getting bad information or am I getting bad instruction or direction um, and so I've been watching a lot of videos lately that kind of spell it out for you but I'm nervous about that because you know the people making these videos also uh, they have a certain set of beliefs you know that they're basing you know their criticism or their you know their they're basing you know their beliefs are definitely apparent in the way they do their videos and the way they put forth this information and the real hard part is that some of these guys and i'm not going to go into you know this person or that person say you know that's not my place to say but you know some of them are so obviously you know money driven and i guess that's my understanding of the prosperity preacher is that you know to to get something from god you have to to give money, you know, that, that, you know, your, your seed that you plant with God has got to be money, not, not prayer, not anything like that. It's all comes from money that you can't expect to get anything from God unless you give him money. And the, the thing is that some of them are so obvious that you, the money's not, it's good. The money's got nothing to do with God. I mean, these people are living in, in just, ridiculous houses and they you know and don't get me wrong people that work hard and make money you know if someone's a pastor of a of a 200,000 member church and and they write best-selling books and you know things like that and they make money it you know they just they work hard you know in that regard I think they work hard and they deserve to to enjoy the fruits of, of their labor and it just seems it's hard when you know these same people are standing up there on you know Sunday morning or you know on TV or on the radio or in their books talking about you know send money to this and send money to that and, you know you gotta wonder where that money's really going when these guys are making you know they're they're living in 40,000 square foot mansions and they got homes in six different parts of the country and, they're taking extravagant vacations and and <clears throat> it's 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 really hard and then when you really break it down what some of these people say about how you know they 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 a lot you know they don't present themselves as as a messenger or a, or a you know just a a servant of God they present themselves as almost like an equal like you know they have a 
they have a closer relationship, you know, almost otherworldly with God that, that, you know, you couldn't understand. You know, you get some of these guys that talk about how God, God seeks their counsel. And that's just, you know, without even knowing anything or hearing anything about, you know, these prosperity preachers, that, that baffles my mind to an unreal degree is, you know, I don't know who these people are or how educated they are or what they know or what they don't know or how whatever but the idea that a, an all-knowing all-powerful god is going to seek the counsel of of any one of us is just i don't want to use the word blasphemy but it just it just sounds just incredulous and, and fantastical to it to an unreal degree you know but then you also get the other people that say you know that uh, you know, you know, going to church and, and and doing things like that. It's not for God. It's for it's for you. You know, I don't go to church for me. Do, do I get something out of it? Absolutely. Do I do I go to my meetings? You know, for me, sure, I get something out of it. But I do it because that's what God wants me to do. Not because you know it's. It's completely for me. It's to glorify God. It's not to glorify me. And when they put it across as if it, as if it glorifies yourself, I have a hard time with that too. But like I said, some of them are so blatant in their in their you know their money hungry ministries that it's so obvious that you're just like you know, and you don't want to discount it because you know. But it's easy to walk away and say, okay, that ministry is not for me. I don't need to pay attention to that ministry. And you're not really hurting anything. You're just choosing to remove yourself from a situation that just, like anything else, that it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't sound right. It's, it's not right for you. And, but then some of them are so subtle. Some of them, the messages that they put across are so positive and uplifting that it it it's hard it's hard to fathom that that they're not coming from a good place until you know and yeah some of the videos that where people say they've exposed these people are are edited to to show certain things but you know some of them are shown completely in context and it does it worries you it worries you that you know someone in those positions that are leading that many people should not be afraid to to say that jesus christ is the only way to heaven they shouldn't be afraid to say that i don't think they should you know but when they talk of when they you know for the for the benefit of i don't know of ratings of of viewership to to uh, to equate or even uh, I don't know what the, what the word is I'm looking for to equate or or to to compare as as if they're the same like God and Allah as if you know we Christians and Muslims you know we're all worshiping the same God we just call him by a different name it's just you know, and the same thing about Hindus, you know, and, and the same thing about uh, Buddhists, how they, and the thing is, is they're not, they're not worshiping the same God, you know, and, you know, it's every religion, every religion has their own doctrine, you know, or, or you know, rules or, or just system of beliefs and structure and everything like that. And the thing is, is, at its core, if it's not Jesus Christ is Lord, and Jesus Christ is the only way to, to get through him, is the only way to get to heaven, if that's not what that particular religion is, is preaching or following, then it, we're definitely not following the same God. And I don't know if they're doing it so they can keep viewership, so they don't alienate uh, sponsors or advertisers or anything like that 
but it, it, it seems disingenuous and I think it muddies a lot of these guys and ladies it muddies a lot of what they're trying to say it clouds it with this cloud of you know are you doing this for the right reasons you know and it just it's worrisome because I want to get the information and you know I, I you know of course through prayer and through reading reading the word you know in, in actuality that could be all that I need all the information that I need but <coughs> in lots of in some regards I just don't have the mental acuity to to uh, to understand a lot of this stuff and so I, I turn to some people that have been trained and educated for a long time and or worked in in the, that that field have been pastors have been you know theologians or whatever you want to call it and and use their years of knowledge and their years of study to kind of put things in layman's terms for us or for people like me and I just don't I don't want to lose sight because then it, it you know even when I go into my own church you know do I don't want to have to question you know like is is he is he on the up and and I know he is and I feel that you know and it's just it's just hard and uh, it's just one of those things that I'm praying about because I don't want to fill my head with bum information and cloud the issue and it, it just brings me back to something that they've been you know that I've heard over and over and over again is you know it, it's either of God or it's not there's no in between and usually it's pretty clear if something is of God you know, and a lot of these people are don't seem like they're coming from a place of God. They're coming from a place of the world. They're coming from a place for money, and a lot. And I'm sure most, if not all, of them, when they first started out, were had all the best of intentions, and but money definitely got in the way, and money has has really skewed a lot of people's view of Christianity and Christians in general as, you know, money hungry. And I just, I don't know what to do, you know. I want to get the information that I, that I can, that I need, and, but I don't want to get the wrong information. And I don't know if anybody out there is dealing with the same things and I'm trying to, to watch videos to, to help you know, educate myself or, you know, and, and I'm trying to share videos on my, my channel that maybe might help educate other people to make an informed decision. And I don't have a, I don't, I'm not going to voice an opinion one way or the other right now. Um, I don't think it's my place to judge, you know, somebody else and say, you know, this person is coming from a dark place and this per but this person's okay. And this person's not okay you know it's just I'm just I'm learning to be very wary of the information that I get and I take in and who I get it from and where it comes from and I just have before I before I take anything I just ask God to show me you know is this of him or is this of the world and because there's a lot of stuff out there that can sound so good and sound sound like it comes right from God but it's it's got nothing to do with him. Um, you know, it's it, it's not a black and white thing. It's not a obviously this is good and this is evil thing. It's this is of God and this isn't. And just because it isn't of God doesn't mean that it's an evil thing. It just means it's not of God. You know, and there's a lot of stuff that make people feel really good about themselves, but it doesn't come from the right place. And I just... You know, I pray for myself that I'm very diligent on, on what I believe and when I when I hear stuff and what I take in. And I pray that all of you out there are very diligent 
and prayerful about what you hear and just be mindful you know that you know that even the even the people that do push the money issue you know there is a lot of there is a lot of good in what they say if you can remove that part of it you just can't get yourself caught up in the wrong parts of it and in my opinion you just, everybody just has to be careful